Hey guys, wanted to give you an update on what's going on. Uh, I've been working on the electronics inside that box uh, a ton lately. Uh, you can see I added some cooling fans, which I will get to in a minute. But um, I pulled it out, um, just wanted to give it some sunlight, see how hot I can get it up to, see what's going on, see how it works. Um, I'll just walk around it real quick. If you watch the last video, you'll see that I added that. I mean, I talked about those and I had that one on already and I just put that one on. Um, so what I have going on over here on the side for switches so far, big trucks going by. So you can see the green light on right now. So that is a power switch for the whole battery pack and everything in the box. So when that is on, uh, BMS is gonna run inside the pack. Uh, the cooling and heating systems are gonna be activated. Um, they won't turn on unless the temperature is required or, or hits the requirements, but um, th they will be activated. Uh, it also turns on the uh, um, OBD2 adapter and whatever else is in there. I'll open it up and show you. Uh, the other switch right here is off right now because they added this as a kill switch for the contactors, the contactors inside the pack. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, you know I do need to replace those. Uh, they should be here tomorrow, which is awesome. Uh, so those will be here and I'll open the pack up again put the new contactors in. These contactors have economizers so they shouldn't fry. My bad, I just wasn't thinking and uh, gave them power for too long and toasted the other ones because they didn't have economizers. They were built for uh, a circuit with a pulse width uh, modulation. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake. New ones have economizers coming and this is a kill switch. So if I push this button right now, oh, you can't really see it in the light, but yeah, it's, it's red. So the red indicates that the contactors are active. They're not because the wire isn't connected to those, otherwise it would just heat up and not good things would happen. So until until I have the new contactors in there, it's, it's not doing anything. But um, so normally I would leave that button in. And then any time if I wanna disconnect it and leave the whole rest of the pack, everything on, I just hit that button kills the contactors but leaves all of the temperature uh, um, management system working all right so it's not pretty uh, I still have to bundle up the wires hide everything a lot better I, I did get a label maker so I started labeling things so at least that's something um, so we'll start at the switches right now right here is my main on off for the whole system so that'll turn that on and off this is the contactor for the high voltage pack on off. These two are going to be going to indicator lights that I'm going to be putting in right here. Uh, they're on their way. I just ordered those. One is for uh, cold. One is for hot. So that way when I'll know just by looking at the outside of the box, if the, um, which I'll show over here, that the temperature switches are calling for heat or calling for cold. Um, I guess I'll skip right to over to those. Uh, these are very, very simple switches that you can get online. Um, you can't really see them in the direct sunlight. I'm not even sure if that's gonna come across on the screen. So the, the heat is set to 4.4 degrees Celsius. So if it's below 4.4 degrees Celsius, it'll flip on the Tesla heater, which is right down in there. Uh, I still have to work on that, which is gonna go right here. That's why I got the wires ready, but I still need to work on that. There's gonna be um, a new junction box right here and another contactor to uh, send power from the pack to um, uh, the, the Tesla battery heater. So at 4.4 degrees Celsius, I'm going to uh, turn the, the Tesla heater on. At oh, 26.7, I'm going to have the uh, cooling system turn on these fans so you can kind of see them spinning right there um, they just turned on a short little while ago right now it is 27.4 degrees Celsius so they just short, turned on looks like the temperature is still climbing I, I'm really so this is all still experimental I'm not sure how this is all gonna go looks like temperature is still climbing anyway even with the cooling fans 
Um, they're blowing some nice air. These are both great fans. I got them uh, online from a seller uh, in, in uh, China. They were 11 bucks each, and I think they were moving 104 CFM each, which is really high for a fan. And they just happen to be the perfect size for this cool um, little oil cooler right here. And uh, let's see what else. You can see my, my relays here. I put an inertia switch here that's connected right at the main switch. So if there's ever an accident or somebody bumps into the trailer or something, it kills power to the whole thing. Uh, so the coolant lines, everything would shut down. The pump would shut down. Um, that way, nothing, I mean, it's still, I'm sure stuff will leak, but uh, it'll sh shut everything down. So I figured that was safe. Uh, you already saw the solar controller in a previous video. Right now I just have that uh, to this uh, 10 watt solar panel. I have a 30 watt panel that should be coming in the next couple weeks. And that's actually going to fit right on the top of the lid. Uh, it's going to fit in there perfectly. And that one's, uh, yeah, like I said, 30 watts. And that should definitely uh, keep everything topped off just fine. This is actually kept up really well I'm, I've been really surprised but um and cloudy days I'm not really sure so I just figured bigger was better <laughs> went with a 30 watt um what else these are the wires there that are coming from the main battery pack they're gonna go into the uh junction box when it gets here and they're gonna connect to the contactor so it sends power uh to the Tesla um, heater right down there I don't know I guess that's about it but uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on I, I know it's a mess still working on it I still got to wrap all the wires so that's gonna have flex loom and be all sealed and nice and uh, yeah so I guess that's about it uh, thanks for watching talk to you later